What's up guys? So we just got our uh, Pro Tube Mag Tube cups in for the Quest and the Rift S. Uh, I've had the Pro Tube for a while and I actually use it with the CV1, but the cups are a little bit different. So these are the Mag Tube cups, but they don't fit the Quest and the Rift S properly. So Pro Tube now has their cups available to order for the Quest and the Rift S. I have not actually got to try these yet. They showed up the other day. So they do come with the mounts and stuff. But I already have these. I already have the mag tube stock. So this will be an upgrade for your regular pro tube to make it into the mag tube stock. So we are going to actually play the quest. I did side load Pavlov onto the quest yesterday. So we're going to set up the gun stock and uh, go into some Pavlov on the quest. I'll see you in there. Right. So if you haven't seen these mag tubes before, basically the cups just go onto the controllers and then the controllers slide into the cups and they are fully magnetic, so it helps with uh, reloads being a little quicker, front and rear. So we're gonna try some Pavlov on the Quest. All right, while well, wait, there's not a whole lot of online lobbies yet since this is just a side-loaded game. They're all kind of full right now, so let's push this out here and go ahead and show you how this is done. So I am not running the sling right now just because it makes it harder with the rig that I have on to record all this, but usually I will run a sling. Whoa, that's way down there. I need a scope. I can't even tell what I'm hitting down. Data center seems to be the map that runs the smoothest right now. Let's try and go into this. It feels weird to play this with no wires. I mean, I don't I haven't played that a whole lot lately, but I used to play this quite a bit back in the day. It feels really weird to be able to move around and not worry about getting twisted up. I do really like that aspect. Normally, I try to snap turn and stuff a lot in these kind of games, but with this, I don't have to. I can literally turn anywhere I want. Oh, these bots are really terrible. There were some more people online playing. I actually don't have my Winmo VR uh, lens adapters in right now either. My wife's been playing box VR, so I pop them out for her. And I actually forgot to put them back in, so that would help me some. The tracking is pretty decent so far. I actually haven't had any major issues. I do wish there was a gun stock adjustment in this game like Contractors. Because that way you can just make it to where your sights line is perfect. Which would be really nice, but maybe someday. So far, Contractors is the only game I know that's actually done that. So I love being able to just turn around like this. So wireless is definitely uh, the way to go. That's for sure. So if you haven't tried Pavlov yet on the Quest, it's uh, pretty easy to sideload on. It actually runs pretty good so far. I mean, I've seen a couple of little glitches and stuff here and there. But for the most part, it runs really well. And this isn't even the official version yet. So let's see if we can find an online game. There we go. 
There we go, this might work. So I am online now playing with some people. I don't know if any of these guys can hear me. Nice shot. My weapon angle is definitely a little off here when we got the last left. Spatial audio in this without some good headphones is definitely kind of messing with me, but I do have a uh, Vibe Deluxe audio strap I have not put on yet. So the uh, gun stock actually works fairly well for this on the quest. Tracking is definitely pretty decent. I do wish we had a gun stock calibration. But. Oh, I was on full auto. Bummer. Sorry, bro. I think they come out here. Reloads are a little bit off. I moved the cup some, so my reloads are a little bit off, but they're not too bad. It takes a lot of metal, muscle memory using these stocks, it just takes a lot of practice. But if you get used to using a gun stock, you won't want to go back, at least for most people. Some people still prefer no gun stock, but I love it.
Okay. I have a side arm. I don't have any side arm. Oh, I do have a knife though. Nice. All right, so that's pretty much going to do it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys using this uh, Pro Tube with the Mag Tube upgrade. This is the Rift S controllers and the Quest controllers. So definitely uh, check them out. It works good for Pavlov. Pavlov is coming officially to Quest, so keep an eye out for that. And you can sideload it right now, and the gun stocks do work. So we will put a link in the description where you can get yourself one of these if you want one. And uh, we will see you. Coffee and VR this weekend. Don't miss that for sure. That'll be Saturday morning and we will see you later.